In this problem, we are asked what is the value of the x in the solution set in the system of equations given below. We would recognize that since this is a system of linear equations, if these two lines intersect, they will intersect at a point with coordinates x and y. That means we are looking for the x and y values that satisfy both equations at the same time. There are a couple of ways that we can solve systems of linear equations. We could graph them and find their intersection point. We could use a substitution method, which means that we're going to rewrite one of our equations in terms of one variable, such as y equals 2 or x equals 2. Or we can use a process called elimination, eliminating one of the variables. Let's look at substitution. Looking at my second equation, I see that I could solve that equation for either x or y. I'll solve it for y by subtracting x from both sides. So my second equation becomes y is equal to 1 minus x. I'm now going to substitute this value for y into my first equation. Therefore, I have 3x minus 2 times y, and y can be represented as 1 minus x, and that is equal to 8. Notice that I've now created a, an equation with only one variable. I could now use a distributive property to simplify the left-hand side. I have 3 times x, and now using that distributive property, I have a negative 2 times 1, or minus 2, and a negative 2 times a negative x, or a positive 2x, which is still equivalent to 8. Combining like terms, I have 3x plus 2x, which would give us 5x minus 2 is equal to 8. Now I can add 2 to both sides of my equation, resulting in 5 times x is equal to 10. We can see that when I divide both sides by 5 to solve for x, I get x is equal to 2. Let's just check to see what that y value would be. I know that y is equal to 1 minus x, so the solution to my systems of equation would be given by when x is 2, y is equal to a negative 1, so my solution set is 2, negative 1. Let's first verify this before we select our answer. Since 2 negative 1 is a solution to our systems of equations, it should satisfy both equations simultaneously. When I take my first equation and I substitute in x equal to 2 and y equal to 1, negative 1, we will get the following 3 times 2 minus 2 times a negative 1 and I want to verify that this is indeed equal to 8. 3 times 2 is 6 and negative 2 times a negative 1 is a positive 2, which is indeed equal to 8. This verifies that the point 2, negative 1 is indeed the solution. This gives us an x coordinate of 2 in the solution set. Another way that I could solve the same problem is using the process of elimination. And in the process of elimination, we want to eliminate one of our variables. When I look at my two equations, I see that I have a negative 2y in one equation and a positive y in the other. Therefore, I want to make the coordinate on my y value to be such that when I add my two equations together, I eliminate my y values. One way I could do this is I could multiply my second equation on both sides by 2. This would result in the system, 3x minus 2y is equal to 8, and in my second equation would become 2x plus 2y is equal to 2. Now, through the process of elimination, I could add these two equations together. 3x plus 2x would give me 5x. Negative 2y plus 2y gives me no y. And finally, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Notice this gets me to the same place as substitution. Therefore, when I divide by 5, 
On both sides of my equation, I get x is equal to 2. Again, verifying that our x coordinate of our solution set is indeed 2.